Okay, be honest. Who watching this video actually plays Dead by Daylight for the gameplay? No, 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 no. Most of us, we play for the skins, baby. That juicy drip. That's why today I'm going to give you my top 10 skins that should be added to Dead by Daylight. Keep in mind, this is my list, and you are welcome to disagree with me, even if you're wrong. Just a warning, this list is all over the place, and I can promise you, you are not going to expect a lot of the skins I put on this list. I don't want to waste any time, so let's get right into it. Coming in at number 10 is Ghost Rider for the one and only Nicolas Cage. Now, before some of you jump in the comments and say something like, I'm actually spooking jukes, they can't just add a Ghost Rider skin for Nicolas Cage because Ghost Rider is actually owned by Marvel, so they'd have to get a separate license. And I Yeah, I know. I know, but it would still be really cool. If they did add a Ghost Rider skin to the game, it would easily be one of the best, if not the best survivor skin in the game. I mean, imagine looping a killer looking like this. This next spot might be influenced by the fact that I just rewatched the first three Pirates of the Caribbean movies, but at number nine is gonna be Jack Sparrow. And who should the skin be for? My boy Ace Visconti. Let's be real, this works perfectly. They both have that sleazy vibe about them and they're both incredibly lucky. They could also go the extra mile by giving the Jack Sparrow skin a unique running animation so that you could loop killers with Jack Sparrow's signature run. Coming in at number eight is probably the weirdest choice on this list, but hear me out. A John Madden skin for the clown. You don't have to be a sports fan to know who John Madden is. Most of you probably recognize him from the Madden game series. He's also known for some of the goofiest sports commentary moments in TV history. Like this is a father bucket, this is a mother bucket, and since the last game, they had a baby bucket. He was a very silly character, and I also feel like he was a very unique looking guy as well, and he had a laugh that would fit in perfectly with the clown's character. <laughs> Maybe instead of throwing bottles at survivors, he could just throw exploding footballs, and then when he cuts off their fingers, each finger could have like a Super Bowl ring on it or something, I don't know. At number seven, and I'm very sad that this will never happen, but it's gonna be Lifeguard Billy from Stranger Things. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about this character. I personally like very flawed characters that have a good character arc in the end, but even aside from the character, just Dacre Montgomery wearing the lifeguard outfit, that's enough for me. At number six is going to be a Predator skin for the Skull Merchant. And uh, then they could just also rework her entire power. At number five is going to be Sauron from Lord of the Rings. When you think of medieval armor, I don't think it really gets much cooler than Sauron from Lord of the Rings. And even though the knight isn't the most fun character to play in Dead by Daylight, I still think that he looks cool. He has a lot of cool uh, armor cosmetics. And I think if they added this, that would just be top of the top. I mean, like I said, you just can't really get any cooler than that when it comes to armor. My number four spot really should be higher on this list. It's something I've been wanting for a long time, but it's a Shrek skin for Oni. I cannot imagine a more beautiful sight than a Shrek sprinting around the map, wielding a club, and every time that he goes into his power, he just yells, What are you doing in my swamp? And hey, maybe this will finally give them an excuse to rework the swamp maps, and then they can add a new variation that's got Shrek's little hut in there. Now this isn't on the list, but if they did add a Shrek skin for Oni, they could also add a donkey skin for the Dredge. And they could throw in some voice lines like, Hey, come on, man, why you gotta be jam rushing me like that? I'm gonna camp in front of your ass. You better not be teabagging me at the exit gate. Now we have reached the top three, and at number three is a Robert England skin for Freddy. The Freddy that we currently have is from the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street, and a lot of people hate that remake, and I don't think it's terrible, but you just can't beat the original. You can't beat Robert England's performance. It's iconic, and I would love to have a Robert England skin and maybe even some voice lines. The number two spot is going to be Michael Myers in the Asylum from Rob Zombie's Halloween remake. The Rob Zombie Halloween movies get a lot of hate, and I understand some of the criticism, but one thing that I really enjoyed was they just made Michael this monster, this absolute beast, and especially when He's in the asylum and he has these masks that he made and his hair is just super long and he's just like towering over everybody and just plowing through guards. I don't know. I thought it was badass. And I think it would be cool if they had a skin like that in Dead by Daylight where he had the orange mask on that he made himself and you can see his long hair. And now for the number one spot, and I don't think anything will ever top this for me, it's going to be Ghost Sheet Myers. 
That's right. The number one and two spots both go to Myers because he is my all-time favorite horror character. And in my opinion, he's the most iconic horror character of all time. This outfit in particular is just so iconic and it comes from one of the most iconic scenes in the original movie. And I just love the idea of chasing people around as Myers wearing just a ghost sheet and some nerdy glasses. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if there's any choices on this list that you agree or disagree with and let me know what your list would be. And I've never made a video like this before. I don't know if I will in the future, but if there's any list videos that you want to see me make for Dead by Daylight in the future, let me know, I guess. I don't know if I plan to, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.